hi everyone and welcome in the previous video we have covered that how we can you know configure the portmap.io software for the port forwarding so we have created configuration for our node red and then we have created a mapping rule in which uh, the port map io has provided us the port number 51350 as a public port number and the local port we have is 1880 okay and we have downloaded the .ovpn file so now in this video we are going to see how to import the .ovpn file and how to uh, you know start the vpn profile with the openvpn software okay so we will open the openvpn software here now we will import the .ovpn file so we will click on browse and here you can see in the download we have .ovpn file so i have imported this one now this is the public ip okay so this is the public ip which we are going to use to connect with our node red so um, let me change the profile name okay node red so we will click on connect and you can see it is trying to connect and it is connected okay so the same thing i have mentioned here in the browse button you have to browse that file okay this is our public ip 193.161.193.99 and uh, once you connect the uh, graph you will see the graph here so it means that it is connected if you want to pause it then you can pause from here but leave it as it is after that we have to verify that our local port is forwarded to the public ip or not so for that you have to use this website so let me open that website in a new tab okay now this is our ip address 193, 163, 193.99. So 193.161.193.99. And the port number. So the port number you have to specify which port number is available here. 51350. Okay. You don't have to look for this port or any other port. Make sure. You only have to use this port. 51350 which we have used in the mapping rule. Okay. I mean which we got from the mapping rule when we have created a mapping rule on the portmap.io website so, uh, service running on the 1880 port number is forwarded to 51350 so you have to use this port instead of any other ports in this website okay so you have to paste it here and you have to click on this check you can see port 51350 is closed on this ip address okay but as i have shown you that it should be like port xxx is open on this ip address why it is closed because node red is not running okay so we have to start the node red okay you can see here server now running at http 127.0.0.1 and the port number 1880 so our node red is up now we can uh, again try to check the open port okay so if you check here you can see port is open on this ip address okay so this is how it will work so if you haven't run your service or if you haven't started your service in your local host then the port will be closed once you start your service in the local host your port will be open for uh, you know public availability now uh, you can see here verifying the port forwarding okay so we have covered that how to verify the port forwarding and if you get this message port xsx is open on this ip address then it's fine okay everything is done now let me open the private window here and here we have the ip address okay i guess we are same ip address 190 3.161 and then we can press colon and then we can use the port number 51350 okay 51350 and we can hit enter you can see it's a node read okay and i also i can also open the node read from the local ip address so here is my local node read and here is my public node read okay so the same flow is open here you can see here 
so same flow is open i can you know delete the flows if you want to delete then flow delete or i can create a flow i have added one flow here i can navigate to another flow i can delete the previous flow and i can deploy it you can see once i deploy from the uh, public ip address the changes is also available on the local ip address okay or local system i can cl click here i can merge it okay and if i add something on the local machine so if i add one button okay now let me add to the desktop i mean sorry dashboard done and if i deploy it here okay you can see review changes merge and you can see we have a button here and if i want to see the dashboard then i can see the dashboard from here You can see 193.161 193.99 and the port number and i have the dashboard the same dashboard i can see it from local machine okay you can see we have a same dashboard locally as well and from remotely as well i can use this ip address and port number from anywhere in the world to connect with my node red dashboard or to update the flow on my node red dashboard so this is how it is work so whatever service is running on my local host port 1880 is forwarded to port number 51350 which we have uh, you know a map in the port map.io 51350 and the ip address will be available whenever you uh, import the profile so you can see 193.161 193.99 so this is the ip address which we are going to use and the port number we are going to use is the uh, is the one which we have mapped or which uh, we have configured in the port map.io website okay and you can still check the port status if it is on or off okay so that's all uh, if you scroll down and then you can see the example making node red dashboard publicly so i have created this example you can see ip address local i mean here is the local host ip address and here is the public ip address okay so we can open local ip and public ip both parallelly in the same machine and whatever changes we are going in the local machine that will be available in the public ip as well as you are seeing here okay as you are seeing here so that's it so this is how this uh, uh, open vpn and the port map io things will work to forward your port on the public ip address and this will be the free solution okay you don't have to pay any charges if you open the port map io then if you go to configuration then you can see for one port it is always free okay if you want another configuration then you have to subscribe and you can get more configuration but if you want to forward only one port then this is free so uh, it's a lifetime free solution for your single customer okay you can install open vpn to the customer machine you can set up the port map.io for that customer you can set the configuration mapping rule you can start the vpn on the customer uh, system and your customer have the public ip and public port number for your dashboard a node red dashboard okay so i hope this thing is clear and if you still have any question or any doubt then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp i'll happy to answer your question and if you want to read entire thing then you can you know visit our blog and you can read entire thing step by step that uh, of what you have to do the first what you have to do after that everything uh, along with the links okay where you can download open vpn connect port map.io link everything so i hope it is clear to you that how you can do the port forwarding for free uh it's a lifetime free port forwarding solution using open vpn and the port map.io so that's all this three videos is uh, completed here the series is completed so we will meet you in another series or another video till then take care goodbye and thank you